Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you want to see how I got my big 70s inspired hair, then please keep watching. As soon as I start this video, my camera decides to flash red. Anyway, okay, so I'll start off by showing you what tools you need and the hair care that I've done to get to this starting base. I've washed my hair and let it air dry and then this has just been slept on overnight and then I brush it through with my favourite tangle teaser. These are so good. Well, I use Olaplex number three in the shower before shampoo and conditioning and that's going to be like a hair repair treatment and my hair is naturally really coarse and really dry and I've had bleach quite a few times. I use heat on it every week and I think it's definitely, I mean, it looks kind of silky, kind of healthy. And then I'll go in with my Vanola Purple Shampoo. That's the best shampoo I've found that doesn't make my hair go grey. Vanola's good at making it like icy and not like dull. And then after my purple shampoo, I'll go in with either, if I want like a more conditioned routine, I'll go in with my Weller Hair Mask um, for coarse hair. And then if I'm not going to use that, I'll use the Whey Thick Hair Conditioner. I'm just trying to decide how long this red light's going to last for. <laughs> I have got another one charged, but that'll disrupt my creative process. And then after my shower, while my hair's still wet, I'll go in with my Revlon One Unique Hair Treatment, I think it's called. I use this one just because it makes your hair feel so nice, but also because it's heat protectant, which is really good to use if you're using a lot of heat on your hair, like we are today. This and the Whey Texturizing hairspray are my two ride or dies in my hair routine. I'd say this one is the best. This one is a no-brainer if you want voluminous hair that's gonna last. You'll see at the end how good this is. Okay, so tools. The Mark Hale Pick and Mix Waver with the medium barrel. It's detachable. And you can also get like a small and a mermaid waver, I think, that attaches to this. So it's really cool. And it's not that expensive. It's like 15 pounds, I think, for each part. Really good. And then for the front parts, if I want like a really big blown out 70s look, I'll use my GHD straighteners. For the hair curling, I'm just gonna whiz through it, put a time lapse on because it's pretty self explanatory. The one thing I do is just section the top bit and then any curls that I do, I make sure I just curl away from the face and then hold for like two or three seconds and then let it drop. For this look, it's not really the back of the hair that's important. It's more like how the curls like frame your face. And also the most important bit is the bangs. I'm gonna brush these out later so they're not gonna stay like this curly. Look how dark my hair is. I don't think many people realise how dark I actually am. Look at the difference. Imagine if I was all this colour. I just don't think I'd see today. Now I'm gonna do the top. You're gonna look a bit crazy but trust the process. So I usually put the curls to the back of my head so they're out the way and then I'm just left with this front bit. What I do is I get my bangs out the way like that. So then I get these. Okay, then you wanna gonna you wanna gonna you're gonna wanna get your straighteners and turn them on. I've got my hair in two layers, so I've got this short layer, and then I've also got like a long layer. And what I'm gonna do is curl the two layers. You can do this even if you haven't got layers. I mean not to encourage hacking away at your own hair, but cutting these are really easy if you wanted to. You could just get some scissors and diagonally. I'm going to take those two shorter layers and pin them back. What you're going to do is curl them up about halfway, do a half turn and kind of slant it out as well so it'll be curled but it'll also proof outwards. Up but to the side. 
something along those lines. <laughs> and then I get these two pieces, and then I do a similar thing that I've just done on those pieces, on these. Like that. This never goes right first try. So, I'm quite happy with those. I look a bit like a judge or like someone from the 1800s right now, but it'll all come together. <laughs> These kind of just blending together. And now the bangs. I don't really know how to explain this. I'll try, but hopefully just showing you can give you enough of a demonstration. You get your bangs, curl around your eyebrow length. But don't curl too much, because then it'll literally just go into like a spiral. But you want to get enough of a curl so it just flicks out nicely and joins like these curls. Kind of like that. If the end bits are sitting lower than these curls, you need to curl this bit to sit a bit higher. This is what it looks like so far. Now you need to brush it out. Make sure you're brushing outwards to the way the curls want to go instead of down because otherwise you'll undo all the volume you've just created. What anybody comes to me in the comments like they did on my reels, I know this isn't exactly 70s hair because I know the technique's a bit different to get that massive Farrah Fawcett look, but this is just inspired. Yeah, this is it basically. And then my favourite bit is my Away texturising hairspray. The goal in this hairstyle is volume. And if you want volume, you need this. You need it. I'll put the link down below. Just to complete the look. So this is the final look for the 70s inspired hair tutorial. Like and subscribe, that'd help me a lot. And any video suggestions, just put them in the comments because your girl needs them. I will see you in the next video. Bye.